Seven states have at least one confirmed case of the H5N2 avian flu, counting Minnesota, Kansas, and Missouri. The virus can affect all domestic poultry, including turkeys, chickens, geese, and ducks. No human cases have been detected in the U.S. or internationally, and the USDA says poultry prepared properly, cooked to 165 degrees, will kill any avian influenza virus that could be present. Earlier this week, we asked Nebraska Extension poultry specialist Sheila Purdom to explain what the H5N2 avian flu is, how it affects birds, and how producers can implement biosecurity precautions on their operations. It's an influenza virus just like what you or I get, but it's specific to poultry. Um, it's actually very harmful to the birds. High mortality rates, the birds will have a loss of appetite, they'll be listless, and eventually they die from it because they have no immunity. Very contagious. It's moving from waterfowl into these flocks, and within a flock you'll have as much as 80 to 90 percent mortality very quickly. Biosecurity is of the utmost importance. You want to make sure that you don't have any migrating waterfowl having a water source or feed source on your farm. Likewise, if you're taking a family picnic to a state park nearby where there's been a break, you want to make sure that you don't bring home any of the waterfowl's excrement on your shoes, disinfect everything before you go into your operation. Um, if your birds for, or chicks for some reason aren't eating well, um, they show a high fever or temperature, and they're just starting to unfortunately die, you want to get a sample into our veterinary diagnostic lab. Um, this particular virus doesn't care if it's a large operation or small, so even if you have 10 birds in the backyard, you want to take the same precautions. Well, unfortunately, there's no vaccine developed yet for this particular virus, so you're going to have to um, depopulate, disinfect, and take a time out, basically, in your facility before you bring in new chicks. On the Market Journal website, we'll link to information on sample submission to the Nebraska Veterinary Diagnostic Center.